What's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the, ne my, the next episode of my Empire to the War. Let's play as the as the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we have um, a number of um, Westphalian armies attacking us from multiple directions, and we also have the remnants of this French army here um, that's currently sat in our port, also attacking us. Although I don't think they're going to be up to too much mischief. So as usual, we are we are going to see a lot of infantry of low quality and a lot of low quality cavalry but I, I think we've got the force um, well prepared to deal with it so let us prepare for this defense a defense which hopefully will uh, really break the back of their forces in France and would hopefully I think uh, allow us to make some really good progress against the uh, the French so by, by neutering Westphalia Obviously, Westphalia are one of their allies, along with Württemberg. And I think we're going to have a line on attacking Strasbourg when it's our turn. Right, so... I like this raised terrain here. I like this feature because it prevent it li really limits where they can actually get at us. So let's deploy one set of guns up front. With an infantry unit here with their flank up against this terrain so let's take actually i'd like the other unit to go about here but stay limbered up because that's in flux let's take two infantry units and fill in this gap let's take two infantry units and fill in this gap. Let's scatter a few units ahead of us with stakes. I'm going to keep one here just in case they try anything. My militia might hold that pass. Um, I, I mean, I probably don't. It's not going to be much use, but maybe put one there. You're deployed. To be honest, a lot of our troops are just going to sit here and be used as fodder to deploy stakes, because why not? Royal Crossier Guards hunker down to the rear. So what does that leave us with? Three line infantry units. Again, I don't know how useful ones pointing off to the flank are going to be, but we may as well, because our deployment zone is fairly small, we may as well go a bit mad with the stakes because we're going to pull all these guys back anyway. And there is a chance they just deploy behind us anyway and screw us over. Yeah, not so bad, not so bad. Deploy you men on the flank here. I'll finalise their deployment later on. Some of these units can just deploy back out the way as reserve. Same with you, Grenadiers. So the men that are deploying over here, obviously their positioning is not smart. Uh, it's you guys as the line infantry guards. Might even keep unit grand ears like eh, even then that's not no, that's kinda useless. Yes, you're ang angling quite aggressively against these troops here. Good old bouncing shot, killing the gen well not killing the general, attacking the general. The French are coming in from all the way back here. Obviously they are not happy to be in this engagement. Now howitzers that currently well that are firing quick climb are now doing so. Looks like it is gonna be focusing on their general. Let's keep some grenadiers close at hand. Because we might not get too many kills from this direction with our stakes. Yeah, the quick climb's doing well enough here. 
So is our artillery, like bouncing shells just gone straight through, bouncing shots just going off the general, bounced through and killed units in the subsequent um, regions. So I'm really hoping some of this cavalry that's advancing causes runs into some of our square formations. These guys are a bit isolated, but sure that'll always be fine. These guys are just loading and firing against the enemy. And they've clustered together really nicely for us. It's almost as if they wanted us to kill them. There we go. Got some cavalry on the on the other flank. Von Miltitz cavalry. So we've got to keep an eye out for them. Quite sure what you guys are planning on doing. You guys can't do anything from over there. See, I knew I wasn't crazy having some grenadiers stood here. You guys drop both into square. Got a lot of cavalry coming this way. Maybe it might be time to get our quick climb to start focusing on the infantry coming in. Yes, yeah, right. You better run. hit the unit on the flank that wasn't in square but everyone else is yeah you're not going to break through my square finish your line sadly we okay well you might try and get around the flank Cannons to shot the general's bodyguard, or at least attempt to. That'd be a good start. Unit there we go. That mighty cavalry offensive. Dealt with. Yeah, let's get the get you guys into square. Start to um cannons to shot the enemy infantry that are advancing. Enemy general has been killed trying to cross one of our squares. Once again, they are coming back at us on the left flank. Lovely little pit of death we've got going on down here. Even my militia might get the odd kill or two. You guys cast a shot. The 6th Regiment right in front of you. Provincial Cavalry have been killed on our stakes. Yeah, we've got some more supports coming in. You men engage. Boom. Engage the 7th Regiment. And the men form square once more. Yeah, they've been repulsed. Balls form position again the provincial cavalry just just can't help themselves let's take you guys out of square and let's advance you guys up like so let's fire into the flank of the enemy advance
the 116th. Reload. Because my artillery needs to attack the 10th Regiment chiefly. You guys just hold the flank. Let's get our howitzers to attack the French contingent because that's at least something we can reliably clear off the field. Quick climb outbound. Enemy, the commander of the French forces has been annihilated. Yeah, this 11th regiment might be might try to flank, but my men in here ready, ready and waiting for them. More cavalry coming in. You men fire at will because you got some cavalry right there. Canister shot. Got our quick climb. Attacking some of these units to the rear. You guys need to hit the seventh. Danger close. Coblemo! Oh, you aim too low. Hit the 30th. They're about to charge you, so you have a very critical job. There you go. Point blank gunfire. Come on, gunners. Abandon your guns. Oh, they're routed. Yep. Yeah, there we go. We're fighting the 11th. So let's advance these men up into the woods. Ah, oh, a brave little company of fusiliers. It's more of a platoon. Not only. They've lost their officer. He's been shot. They go to the 47th. So they're starting to send their first... Okay, you guys just may as well just quick climb continuously this patch of ground. You guys get over there and also help. You guys focus on the Ogilvy Regiment. So my militia come over here and help. My Crassier Guards are going to do a number on them. Let's... No, 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 no. There we go. Okay, so these guys may relocate over here. You men pivot to push the flank. The militia can position themselves to fight the the infantry that's now on their way. Spin your guns around. Blam. Oh, that was over. It went over the, this Lanvin militia and hit the 10th regiment. There we go. Yeah, that was that was all she wrote. Tell your story, walking. The 11th regiment will likely no, they did not put up with that level of punishment. One of you guys... Okay, let's start to use our howitzers to fight over on this flank a bit. 
Because in general, we're doing pretty good. I mean, these militia might get a bit of a, a hit from the 33rd, but the hope is that some howitzer fire should help balance that out somewhat. So you men continue to blast these infantry positions with canister shot. You killed a few men there. The 9th Regiment of Militia are routing. 116th are in range and they're firing again. Nope, the Lanvin Militia have had enough, and the 25th have joined them. So who's that? Prince, in Prince Eisenberg Infantry coming in on the left with some more Militia. There you go, Quick Climb has been a real equaliser here. I'm pretty sure it would be the 123rd that's done the most good in that engagement. But at the same time, where the terrain is not favourable for a musket engagement, we may as well withdraw. Because right now, where they are, the terrain's very uneven and there's lots of potential for ammunition to just be wasted firing into the into the hills like these guys to be honest they're just not really doing anything useful but look most of this guy's volleys they're just smashing into the uh, into the terrain here so I might have to actually push you guys out to the right flank to do some good and you guys can round shot the second regiment of militia that's incoming You guys aim at the 24th Regiment. I'd be curious to see how many buildings you destroy on your way over there. You don't have a good line of sight, so you're not going to fire anyway. But I don't think we have that many units coming in onto the field anymore. Hundred sixteenth are firing. Again, they've been quite they've been pretty good. In this engagement, you guys run because you've decided to run get into a weird formation. Could do some charging down, but really there's not any need. The Agilvy Regiment look pretty good, but obviously they, they're taking they're taking some damage. Okay, we can do some. We can do a bit of. Blanking, that's okay. Oh, you want some more, do you, second regiment? Apart from that unit and that unit there, I think that'll be the enemy cleared from the field. There we go. So now we can actually blank the 31st regiment pretty inclusively, in which case let's get our how it's just to focus on some of these units that are actually still on the field. You guys need to advance like so. Because again, it's a problem about the terrain. Yeah, they're aware of the threat. That's why they're re they're um that's why they're relocating their uh, their fighting position to face more directly into our flanking troops, and they're bringing in these guys to support by the looks of things. But it will not be enough, because then that means the 123rd have a real killing position into the flank of their formation. Yeah, the units in light infantry units do not like being attacked in the flank. I mean, no units in Empire Total will ever like being attacked from the flank, but goddamn. Yeah, bro. 
broken. They're not shattered. There we go. Now we've got a... Now again, we're fighting in a position where terrain is a bit dodgy. A quick climb is going in. So I think I might speed up time a little bit because not really a lot going on. The 34th. Yeah, they're going to go down. I mean, these guys, they've got a bit of a defilade from 138th, but they are going down. Most assuredly. Okay, let's run you guys back, because there's all these stakes for them to run into. So unfortunately, they have tagged us, and they're going to get some kills. But you can see all of these lovely stakes that they're running into. I don't care if you route 150th, as long as you drag them into you. Drag them through these stakes. That's right, run back the other way as well. There we go, and the route will ensure many more of you die. Focus on the 24th Regiment of Militia. Because by the looks of things, that will be the end of their offensive action near Brussels. So it would be much more useful, I think, if I had fortifications built. But again, I don't think it's a the right decision to make uh, militarily. Alright, let's push you guys up just to shoot him in the flank. Because that's how you do the real damage. Although they did break in the end. Oh, there's still... Yeah, these guys are being resilient. Oh no wait, your reinforcement. Oh god, they're still coming in. Okay, you guys both attack this regiment of the 11th, because they're doing nothing. And let's go after these guys. Oh my god. I thought that was it. But no, there's... They're still coming. Although I think that's it. Let's take you guys, except my, my cavalry there. Because these guys look kind of stuck. So quick climb those guys. 151st push up to the edge of this hill. Grenadiers push up. 121st push up to... Or man that position. These two units advance to this hill. There we go. There's the end of the 24th. So you be under attack and then also keep attacking the 11th. The, the Yeah, it is the 11th. But it looks like they're not going to withstand that. And I'm pretty sure that is the last unit coming in, right? Sure looks like it. Yeah, but the 20th. Yeah, they've been broken. So you men advance to this hilltop position. So even though they're attacking us, it's the most... They are picking the most frustrating directions to attack. Which I know is the point, but... But god damn, you want to kind of think, look, you guys have lost. This is like the worst attack I've seen in a long time. So the howitzer switched to round shot, open up on the 29th. So I'm speeding up time just because, you know, they're not actually attacking, they're just digging in. It's like, okay, I, I understand why you're doing it from a strategy perspective, but from a player's perspective, god damn. Okay. Newman advance. Okay, let's give our 
commander's new orders, considering the dispositions of enemy troops. There we go. So the 21st Regiment likely will not stand up too long. Although, to be honest, I can probably stand to extend you guys up a little bit. Because who are you? The 23rd Regiment of Militia. 30th Regiment of Foot. Yeah, you're not going to be sticking around for too long. Obviously, the Militia was originally out of range, but I'm sure my men have now taken that opportunity to reload. Immediately shaken from a minor volley from Militia. Go on, line infantry guards. One more volley. And they, did, they were taking attacks from other units as well. Okay, so let's send you guys here at speed, you men here at speed. Our artillery can't attack, let's switch you guys to round shot and engage the 29th. 124th is en route through the town. To be honest, you men both engaged in militia in melee combat. You guys actually can chase down, try and chase down the 21st to make sure they stay routed. That means you guys advance at a very acute angle. There we go. Advance the other flank up. 29th are done for. This unit hopefully advanced to point blank range. 23rd likely will not be around for too much longer, so let's speed up time because they're being fired at from everywhere and I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, there they go. So I really, really mistimed that battle. I was pretty sure it was over, but actually, no. They were the other side of the town still. But there we go, we lost 700 men, they lost 5,461. So that's quite a devastating loss for Westphalia. Certainly living up to their name. So, let's take... Yes, the Iroquois are rioting. But I, I wonder... If I take everyone except my guns, they can make it to the new territory. So then my gunners can try follow and stay within supporting distance. You guys can run up and take or hold New York. You men are pushing back. Or, or moving back, not pushing back. There we go. Pick up the Hessian line. So they, if, they, if these guys go for Boston, we've at least got a good garrison there, which is... Let's get one unit of Frontiersmen. And let's get another Hessian line unit and some infantry. Then we'll get some General's Bodyguard. Last, no, not General's Bodyguard. Heavy Cavalry. Cuirassier and Colonial Light. Then here, you guys just replenish because we've already pushed one of these forces back quite drastically. So Paris. This army needs a general. Jamie de Azara. Good. I mean, you're quite cavalry heavy, so I'm tempted to take away a regiment of horse and maybe give it to this guy. Well, I mean, that guy is not really the right terminology. Let's use the, 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 the these, these guys can chase down the Westphalians. Just yeah, auto that. Because a bunch of weak cavalry, and we've got some pretty advanced infantry. Too bad we haven't managed to kill them. This army can attack the small French force. Too bad it's going to attrit the 
men in Amsterdam, but that's okay. So you men get back to the city. So let's recruit some um, sloops here to garrison these towns. The army at Paris... Like it does need a... Yeah, get a grenadier. Actually, what? No, am I recruiting grenadiers for someone else? Let's, reduce, let's disband that militia unit and give you guys a full general. Edmundo Caro Isurerda. Good. And now we can start to do some investment, um, some um, infrastructure upgrades. This army is going to move south to head off any potential um, desires from the Austrians to take advantage of this attack. You guys can stay in Paris. Because, well, what I'd like to do is go for Strasbourg, which is fortified, but it's going to be a bit tricky. So let's take this galleon. Where do you want to send the galleon? Yeah, down to here is where we want to take, where we want to send it. Yeah, down to the the coast of Brazil. It's so that galleon garrison Neptuno. Yeah, get to Brazil. So you're up at full strength. Let's repair this farm. So the main thing I want to do is take these two armies to attack Strasbourg. But, well, no, I'd like you to do it, really, because you've got the, the howitzers to do it. So if I bring... If I bring you guys in, it brings in Württemberg, naturally. So these, so we might have to, we, we will have to take our time. So I'm going to march these guys up into the fort, because worst comes to the worst. I don't know, we might, might hold the fort. But if we take Mr. de Mercado and attack the fort, West uh, Württemberg troops are going to keep filing in, so we need to keep killing them. So this might take a, a bit longer, but if we do it, it knocks out the French, which might have fascinating possibilities in America. So I think we're going to have to risk it. Like I said, it is going to drag in lots of Württemberg troops, which aren't... It's not the end of the world, because we do have howitzers, um, so we can do a lot of damage. But we can just keep quick climbing the bejesus out of them and really damaging the fort. That will be the way to do it, I think. Um, it has left a bit of a gap for um, Westphalia to advance into central France. But I think this is this is worth the gamble. I think it is. So we're going to take our time, not worry about the final advance, the assault. We're not going to rush it. We're going to take our time. So... We're going to have, obviously, our melee troops are going to be up front to go into the breach. And we're going to back them up with four line infantry units. And then we've got a couple of units that will go around the flank. So I want to combine my, keep my troops together in case we get caught on the hop by West, uh, by Württemberg. Sort of on the hop. sort of on the hop but we've got flanking if they want to attack us rather than rather not than occupy the city then we've got you know plenty of troops to do that ah, too bad we're going to miss out on one gun because I missed the issue here oh well If they want to attack us, they will be able to. But we are going to quite happily just pound away. Pound away. 
if they want to go in, get into the fort, that's their prerogative. They will just join the quick climb target. So we're going to take this slow. We don't want to screw it up. Doesn't look like they're going to sally. Even though the cavalry is running around outside, it doesn't look like they actually want to sally. So let's keep quick climbing the center. Chances are that's where most of the Württemberg cavalry is actually going to go anyway. So that in of itself isn't a massive issue. I'm a bit concerned about some of their gunfire. Hey, does that mean you guys can actually shoot now? Again, these guys decided to stop firing. So get the guns up. Then we should uh, break through the fortification. But we need to really, really thin out their ranks. Like I said, their cavalry is likely to run into the middle. So it's not a, a huge issue. We're going to knock out both these walls. That's a lot of good men killed on the wall there. Let's slow down time. Make you guys attack this side. Keep quick climbing the center. See, we could have, if we charged, these guys would be coming in on the flank, which we really don't want. So we may as well take, take our time and keep picking away. Because to be honest, these the French troops, they're not the problem. It's the Württemberg troops that are coming in on the flank that are the issue. So that's what we want to do is we need to do as much damage as we can to minimize the amount of Württemberg forces coming in to reinforce. Like it look you can tell, like look, it looks like the they really do want to just sit on the center. At least their cavalry does. Let's watch some quick climb go in, because that should do some Tremendous damage here. If they don't hit the ground, if they don't fire too short, that is. To be honest, we might both get them both attacking the centre, because the more Württemberg units we kill, the more, the sooner the uh, the end of the battle will be nigh. And we've got our these guys should still be attacking this section of the wall. Yeah, you are. Come on, howitzers. Another shot goes off, so hopefully what you really want to see is some good hits here. At the very least, if we can advance, we can maybe send some troops to intercept these are these men that are advancing. There we go. That's the kind of hits we want to see. I mean, it looks like we might be able to trap a whole bunch of them up on the uh, up on the top of the, the top of the walls there. No, no, I need to keep... Don't go mad. I mean, it really looks like we might get a successful trap. Yeah, we could have lost the trap there, because these guys all decided to... There we go. So the, that cannonball that destroyed that, that limber that's following the guns has actually helped us out. So you guys continue to attack the men on, on top of the walls. Look at this. This is why when you get... This is why you have quick climb. Because this is the great equaliser. There we go. So I don't think... they got one mortar garrison unit who is bugged. So we could actually dispatch some units to try and engage Württemberg forces before they enter the field. And my artillery is just going to focus on trying to kill men on the wall up here. God, yeah, they are. They're coming. They're going to fill they're going to fill this entire city with men.
Uh, get my artillery just hit. This garrison regiment that's advancing outside of the walls. They have no targets, and it's it's a bit of a novelty, really, because normally the artillery has nothing to do. Some good quick climb hits, no doubt. Yep, so much so it did cause my game to really stutter then. Yeah, we're going to take our time with this one. Might get one of my guns to attack the 14th. Hey! Killed the enemy general, Georges Sommier, the French general. Don't worry, game. Soon you will stop stuttering because there will be not enough men on the field to cause stuttering. Yeah, but I, I do appreciate right now all we're doing is just quick climbing them. And that is because, well, look at it. <laughs> Trying to attack this city is, is kind of a non-starter. At least for now. Knocking out some of these French armies for good would be very useful. There's a couple of gendarmerie units back here that are just shells of men. More quick climb coming in. Yeah, like garrison militia units lost, lost hundreds of troops. There we go, comes some more in the center, I think. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it's one unit of gendarmerie. We seem to try and minimize. You can, you can see the stutter that's going on. Bring up a cavalry unit. I wonder if I could... Well, bear in mind, that's not even the only Württemberg army that's coming in to try to save the day. So I might get one of these units to try and attack one of these French troops here. Then another unit. Just keep dropping in the centre. Don't even worry about doing damage. You just, just, just advance. So then my actual line... needs to advance to see if the enemy will um, join them in battle. But I really do need my quick climbing howitzers to do some sterling work. Especially the ones that are landing <laughs> in the centre. Got some more cavalry in. More artillery. Well, more howitzer shots coming in. Although I think you guys should be aiming at the 12th regiment. There we go. Let's cut them in half. And my artillery is aiming at, or well, some of them are aiming at, like units on the walls or units outside the gate. They try and get some of them to attack units over here on the flank, but... but yeah, I want to keep one of my howitzers working on clearing out French units. Which is, from our perspective, the left-hand unit, so the bottom unit card. The tw uh, just regiment of artillery. This is the unit that's going to be attacking French units. You're attacking uh, Württemberg units in the centre. So lots of lots of cavalry still loitering around the center but to be honest if you hit here i mean look at all these dead allied bodies right here or enemy bodies axis bodies a lot of stuttering yeah, what i'm gonna do is i'm probably gonna chop the recording while we do just all this bombardment because i don't know how interesting this is for you guys um, i mean i'm enjoying it just because i like watching units get wiped off but I appreciate you guys might not be might not be so interested like that I like that <laughs> so lots of weak units 
So again, to be honest, weak Württemberg, Württemberg units aren't actually the worst thing in the world for us. Because again, it's that whole question of defending them. Like, if we can take the walls, they have to push around. And if we can have these units positioned as a blocking force, we might not even have to worry about them. Um, but yeah, I'm, so I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back. Well, actually, no, I might just start the assault, to be honest. We're not that far off. Like I could, like what I could really do with is getting the... This howitzer unit could knock out this garrison line unit. That'd be pretty great. And if the other howitzer unit could knock out some of these French troops here, that'd be pretty great. Because I would want these men here to act as our blocker might mean my guard, guardia de corps come around this flank. Same with my Lusitania Dragoons. And same with my um, Irregulars. Get them over on the right flank, because they're the kind of guys I'd want... I don't know, Stanley Holt, then. Yeah. They're the kind of guys I'd want to push around the flank and secure gatehouses. But I appreciate this stuttery gameplay probably isn't that great to watch. Um, I think it just comes down to, like, that's double speed, which doesn't really help. Hmm. Okay, what I might do is not... Okay, I think I might just have to send, sit, spend some time killing troops while you guys aren't watching, because I really do need to thin them out a bit more. So... Um, I am going to drop the recording, and I'll bring you guys back when we start the assault, so see you in a bit. Okay guys, so I've done a handful, a bit more, um, I've done a bit more um, softening up, but to be honest, this is just really stuttery and weird, so I think I'd like to, um, if possible, advance and hopefully see if it's a change in the AI's decision making matrix or whatever it is that their their decision making changes and that they then decide to uh do something what because whatever the hell they're doing in this like in this stuttery mess is just awful so let's take let's take a gamble Oh my gorillas, they're walking and they're hidden, but let's get them moving. Let's get the troops advancing. So I've got my artillery trying to attack guys on the hill. So I'm hoping that they, uh, whatever the AI is doing that's currently causing it to do this, it's not the number of troops, it's got to be something they're deciding to do or somewhere they're trying to go that doesn't work. So like I want to take, like yes, yeah, so I need I need I'm using my help my quick climb to try and just thin out their numbers in the greatest enemy concentrations, but there is still an issue of it taking time. Well, like what it still doesn't make sense to some degree because why the hell is it taking this long? You know, so I'm hoping that if I can get up there get up in their face and cause them to say, oh no, oh nuts, you know, stuff's happening, let's go and do something else, and we might even provoke them into attacking us, we might even provoke them from charging us, and then we can actually do something about the the enemy. So my quick climb might have to focus on these units, this unit on the wall up here, because to be honest, that could be it. 
these guys trying to get off the wall, but they can't. So misses will help. Because they're going to keep... That's going to help keep thin out then, thinning out their numbers. But it looks like the AI is largely going to try and, try and sally. So it would be beneficial to get a unit of line to scale the wall there. A unit of core guard up in their grill. Another unit of infantry up in their grill. My guerrillas scale the wall further around. So I'm hoping when my men get here and start firing um, a bit more we'll start firing by rank. Can we have to attack ground here? Pick the this unit of infantry here and instead pivot them like so. Because I really can't work it out. I really can't. I'd have to wonder if it's all these trapped units. The decision making just doesn't work and they're there trying to work out what the hell they're going to do. Because they shouldn't be having trouble with this quantities of troops. That's not what should be happening. I mean, you do have to wonder if it's... Well, it can't be, because we've had large concentration of troops near the centre before. Yeah, but they're shooting at the 1st Regiment of Militia. Hey, there we go. And just like that... So there goes Württemberg. So you men advance on one flank. How odd. You men advance. Pikemen. Pikemen, get yourself over here. Lead that attack on in. Get my core guard I wanted over here as well. Even advance. I mean, they aren't my target, that garrison militia unit, but I mean, I'll take them. Good, we've got men. We're going to have men in the breach. You men can secure the the gate. That would be capital. You men are engaging. Should be enge engaging in melee combat. Let's get one com uh, quick climb unit. We'll get two. Both of our howitzers to drop shells inside the walls there. There we go. Our guardsmen get in there. Swiss line attack the garrison line. Where's my cavalry? Get my cavalry in here. Same with these German cuirassiers. Get them also in here. My pikes. Okay, so I've attacked. I've dropped them past the combat, which should help. You men cease fire. Get my pikes over here as well. So it looks like part of the deal is the enemy, um, the enemy uh, army, or the reinforcing army, doesn't actually um, defend the city as steadfastly as the um, the home nation does. Oh no 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 no! Well, I mean, you could run. Th no, don't. They've just formed square. Let's get a unit of Swiss grenadiers in here. So who routed? Okay, you guys didn't like. Okay, let's drop some uh, uh, some rounds of quick climb in there. You guys, fire it will on. You men cease fire. Pikes get in there. You men cease fire. You guys fall back a little bit. There you go. Our guard 
our guard troops are in. My grenadiers are in. You men secure the gate. You men, like, look, we have the gatehouse, so why are they deciding not to support us? Why are they deciding not to um, enter the fort from the designated gatehouse? You men charge into the flank. Again, you guys get over here as well. They may get pushed. Actually, I'm not going to push them too far. I don't want them to be pushed off the wall. Whoa, okay. Artillery sees fire. Quick climb, cease fire. To get my Royal Guard out of there. Just so I can get my Guardiad the core in there. Because they'll really want to be involved. Get my Swiss Grenadiers out of here. Or in here. These militia will clear out the enemy fairly quickly. I don't think the reinforcements... Aha, they're all coming in from... Oh god, there's a lot of them. You men, secure the gate! <laughs> Actually, let's get a, get a unit sat on the central square. Let's get it ticking over. You men, get in. You men, get in. You men... Get in and try hold a... Try hold one of the... Oh, too bad. We've got a gatehouse here that's... Being steadfastly not... Um, not controlled in the way we would like. The reinforcement's coming in, but... Far too late. Far, far too late. By design... Okay, let's get our cuirassier over by the gatehouse. Our foot core guard, you hold position. So these guys are going to sit here specifically with the orders to... Specifically with orders to um, block any units that try to burn through. Swiss pikemen charge. Let's get some of these units to charge up the... Up the wall. There's one French elite infantryman there. Swiss line. Weirdly only threw up one grappling iron. But still, the territory is taken. So, yeah, it was a bit stuttery at first. And I don't know quite what the AI was deciding to try and make them do. But, nevertheless, the end result is a secure city as the ranks and ranks and ranks of Württemberg troops are storming in, but the territory is ours. So the idea is once you secure the gates, the only way they can get at you is if they run through the breaches you've made. So that's why I had those units on the left to protect that flank. But there we go. We've taken the city with enormous losses for the enemy, almost a total loss. Back you all go. Strasbourg is taken. It's trying to work out what to do. It's probably computing, like, what's happening in America and all that kind of stuff. Da, The US exist! Well, not for long they don't. Says the Ottawa rebels. There's Quebec. They're going down. Oh, that's... I, I, well, I think... I'm pretty happy with that as an outcome. Obviously now the Guyanas down here are now ripe for the taking, but not that we have anyone that can take them. We could slowly start to build up troops here, but I think it's interesting we've got a, a wildcard US force. Obviously you guys are all destined to come north. But now we've taken out the French... I wonder if Westphalia would accept a peace. 
Unlikely. Hey, there we go. What about Westphalia? Because right now we're on the war... Württemberg, sorry. We're on the... Oh no, they're allies of the Austrians, so when we fight... Well, to be honest, I may as well make peace. Ah, fair enough. Then you shall die. So our agent... Infiltrate the army. Then exfiltrate the army on the other side. And go after... Oh, you've already done one action. I suppose you've infiltrated. So there goes Westphalia. Okay, so you're going to regroup, retreat back to Paris and regroup and repair. Probably don't need a seminary here in Paris. Um, but let's see if you've got any... Study under fire, attacking general, soldier from birth. You're a pretty good general. Um, so Westphalia are allies with Austria, so when we fight, that's going to be quite a significant battle across many, many fronts. So a new nation arises, the Oakar Confederacy. Fine. A new nation arises, Quebec. Not so fine. I want Quebec. A new nation arises, pirates. Oh, nah, that's not good. A new nation... <laughs> so long, France. And then region captured, Alsace-Lorraine. Agent executed, peace treaty signed with Westphalia. Not with Württemberg. Good, we have no money, so I'm going to hit end turn. Because, yeah, we have no money. And we've got a couple of new texts. Well, we have to select a couple of new texts this turn. Salamanca will have finished the entire philosophy tree. And we'll probably go on to one of these agricultural texts, most likely. Um, but yeah, let's not get too carried away. Let's head and turn. But the destruction of France has made the continental United States a much more fragmented um, territory. And that leaves it ripe for the conquering. So the United States, fortunately, doesn't have any significant territories to hold. Um, so they're not going to provide too much of a threat to us in the short term. I would very much like to secure um, North and South Guyana because they are very, very wealthy regions. And we are needing... We will need income. The Russians, obviously, still going to do Russian things. Okay, so who's so we're in, we're being intercepted by this army out here, which I don't want to intercept, but they are they have mobbed us on the front. I didn't want to intercept because my army was weak. I I would like one turn of replenishment. Sweden has attacked us and it's attacked us at Hispaniola, which is a blow, but not a impossible one to recover from. Yeah, they're going to punt our... Oh, no, they're going to kill our um, pirates who made a reasonable showing of themselves. They killed 300 enemies. But at least with the consolidation of territory in North America, we can send some armies around to pick up... Well, we're not going to... Well, what we've got here is an opportunity to potentially make some new trade alliances. Like Westphal like Württemberg are up to no good. Obviously, they can run around us and do some raiding, but we have two armies. So, one army can cover the, the bridge into Strasbourg, or the bridge into Alsace-Lorraine. And that will be you guys. When you've replenished, you guys can just plonk yourselves on the bridge. Oh no, we're going to have to attack. Nuts. Oh, if only we didn't have militia to deal with. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for a... Uh, quick interception to be honest we might even be able to demand we might even be able to knock out the territory because this will push back this force and the garrison oh no they are actually ah it is the garrison that's intercepted us no very well so let's get this army under diego diego coronado into strasbourg replenish the governor's barracks see if we can try and make a peace with Württemberg. come on peace come on chill out 
Well, then it will, does mean you will die. Okay, let's repair. Let's ship this sloop over to Antwerp. So over in the Americas... So we've got the US. Okay, happy to let the US be the US. We've got Quebec, which... Well, let's go. Let's try and secure some good relations with the Iroquois. We can't trade with them. Let's trade with Quebec to try and keep them on our side. Well, I guess they don't want to. The US, well, yeah, slightly negative. But you men are going to replenish before being embarked aboard ship and sent to retake Nassau retake Santo Domingo because obviously that has hit into our bottom line somewhat. You can... Okay, now you need to, you need to stay there. This force here that's at Al um, Albany, Albany push up against Montreal. Let's rebuild... No, dismantle the church school in this territory because that's not what we want. We want good... Catholic territories. And then this army is likely going to be beefed up. Beefed up and sent to maybe grab places like Newfoundland. Well, maybe not Moose Factory, because that might draw us into war with the Huron, which we, I'm really not bothered about. But I would like to push some of these new territories in the uh, in the Caribbean. So in terms of tech, Cambridge, you get to work on uh, selective breeding. Salamanca get to interchangeable parts to reduce upkeep across the board, which would be ex which will be excellent. So you're a drunk. Nice to know. Let's bring this force back to Paris because I want to try and um, get some of my get some more support over out to the Americas. So let's build this Weaver's Cottage. Then take. Well, to be honest, you are one good unit away from being shippable out to the west. Out to the west. So let's recruit a. Sixth rate to get you over there. So the spooky front is over here. Because they decided not to siege us. Well, they decided not to um, not to not to uh, attack us. So I might actually pull this force back from the fort from the front near Austria so I can use that to attack this force here so we'll have two Spanish oh we're just out what if I run you guys around here huh so you men stand here so the men in the fort can't really move out or if they do well, actually, no, they're not in the control zone, so they can't intercept. These guys can. So if I take you guys, run you this side of the farm, maybe. Yes. You can attack that army by itself. Cool. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for this uh, attack against the Russians in the east. Cheers, everyone.